Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon, Flight boss, the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And, um, you know, reason why I think the way I think a lot of times because I have an opposing energy to myself. So, when I come across a lot of things with a baby mind, um, I, I formulate my own conception around it. So, you know, one of the reasons I never was in religions and things of that nature is but is because like when I start to do research and I start to look at things like I, ch I like to look at them from a point of view of how does it make sense to reality and where did it come from so when I look at things like religion and stuff like that I tie that all to pantheism now pantheism if you don't know what pantheism is i'm pretty sure everybody should know what pantheism is but if you don't know go do your research on pantheism and it's, it's just basically the science of basically all is one and one is all now see all religions is indoctrinated with this and i'm gonna tell you where it came from but all religions is indoctrinated in this so even people who think that they're not religious and they're just spiritual people um, borrow from this doctrine. Now, when we talk about pantheism, right? Being lost in this concept is this is this is the physical realm worship. We know everything is frequency, vibration, energy, but this energy is the is the frequency. I mean, it's the physical part of the realm of reality. Things can become physical due to the energy portion. So, pantheism is is energy physical the physical world yang worship it's yang worship yang external realm worship this is what so you could correlate it to a fire deity or whatever like that but it's, it's in a fire sign right now but we're gonna get into where it came from but right now I just want you to understand what it is P pantheism is basically uh, yang worship now what is yang correlated with Cor yang is correlated with the male energy the male energy, which which will be like the left brain logic, but even deeper than that, because we know positive and negative truly don't exist. It's really nothing but it's only truly expansion and contraction. But for the sake of this video right here, Pan represents the positive energy, so it's like male worship. It's Yang, but in a higher density, before male and female, it's Yang. So the external realm, it's yang worship. And yang correlate what could be consciously seen. And part of the organs that correlate to the male attribute that create those type of frequencies and those, star, those type of stars and influences and things of that nature. So you can't, so just being in that theology, pantheism, you can't go far back to a man ruling. So it's man rulership. Because the concept of pantheism is to destroy woman they, they hate hoes now i don't mean hoes as in the the energy that y'all call females today with but that frequency came from somewhere and it came from spirits that didn't like to go into realm of realities and that manifested into lower densities into it's almost like beings were saying they don't like to they don't like to go into holes they don't like to go into realms into fields into experiences so they want to rule over their experiences and not get lost into the shapeless and formless of it so it was kind of like they wanted to get rid of all of the feminine energy i don't want to say per se uh female but if it was a female in this being in this world they would want to get uh it's not the female it's the energy so if she's portraying feminine energy they would destroy her if it's a male displaying feminine energy they would destroy him but it's not the, the Feminine energy, as y'all correlated, is gay right now. Feminine energy back then was correlated to magic, mother. You know what I'm saying? Womb. Mother wasn't always correlated to females. It's just the females that y'all see nowadays uh, have went through certain astral travels and they are able to inhabit that kind of light body as a womb or you know what I'm saying or a mother but the mother womb is a magic imagination and creation and you know the the uh the male energy wanted power and control over this this aspect but this aspect you can't give it power and control so you go you can't 
take power control from it. So you can only give it words and give it give it signatures and sigils in order to to kind of regain power of it. And if a person could use their own motherly magic to take power and authority over the sigil that they put over or the sign that they put over that frequency, then that person could be, be, be perceived as supreme lord or something like that in this realm of reality. Now, Pan, this is why all your religions have something against females. They have something against women and women that uh, want to preach and things of that nature. Every religion got something against women. But this, those are lower spirits trying to explain something else. It wasn't even really about women. It was about the feminine energy and, and the energy to create. What you need is your imagination. You need your emotions and feelings to, to vibrate, to get things moving, to gain attraction, gain traction. So this, pan, this pantheism leads all the way back to male is male worship and it's fit and it's the physical realm the energy the matter it's the physical realm worship and it's the and that the physical realm is yang because you have the zero realm frequency you have the female which is yin the internal realm the vibration then you have the yang which consciously seen from these things which is um the energy the matter the yang the light now they would a lot the pantheism wants you to believe that everything is one right all is one and all comes from one and everything transcends into one and everything is one conscious um, going into another conscious and and everything is just one but like I said it's the positive male yang worship so if everything is one and then when you tie the lineage and the lineage go back to man, go back to a male or go back to a positive energy, something that gives, right? Then what happens, then what happens here is you have to start to question it now. Because if all is one and one is all, but this all that y'all talking about, lineage is male. It can't go further than that. It can't go in between. It can't. It can't be something that created male and female. It can only be something that that's male. Because if you was to look at, you would have to go to theologies in this world that everything came from a positive and went to negative first. So this is where you get the concept of everything being re received first and things of that nature. Then y'all fail to realize that there was something that gave, but y'all worship something that gave into a male attribute type of thing. So this is why y'all can't get yourselves out of the physical, and this is why y'all think God is a shape and form. And, pe and pantheism will tell you that God is everything, which that means everything, and I'm telling you God is nothing, no thing. But God can use all things as shapes and forms, as vessels, in order to express itself to the things that's too separate, the things that have went too far, the things that separated itself. So, going into pantheism, this comes from the, um, the, the constellation that we are in as a solar system and as a 12 system constellation right now. We have 12 constellations that wrap us around within this being that we are in. So we are in a being that's within a world in a higher firmament, a higher density. Now within this world, they all look like reptilian-like uh, centaurs because we are within that body of lights, the body of influences. Which is the star. So if you go do your research and go see what's the close, the closest stars or constellations to us, it's going to be the Centaur constellation. So our solar system is floating somewhere, which will be like the innards of the being we are in. And right now it is chilling and transiting in a spot between at the end of Scorpio and the beginning of Sagittarius star constellation. And through these star constellations, which will be the lower part of the body, like the sex organs and then the thighs and the hips of our body, this lets you know this will this is where we've been transforming at. So we've been transforming our lower halves. We've been transforming our lower our lower bodies. And we've been spreading them apart from not looking mermaid like, not looking like uh one one dimensional like anymore we're spreading amongst the two dimensional which is why we're understanding roundness and sphere like now and we're able to stand more upright now so we're the smaller evolved versions of have man real man woman like and and have animal sn snake serpent like mixed together 
which is centaur. So this is what we are. We are dragons, centaurs, serpents. This is what we are. This is the constellation we are in. This is what you look like. When people want to say, oh, this is Greek or this is this, that, and the third, go look in the motherfucking mirror. So once you go look in the mirror and look at your attributes, and, and I just told you where we're chilling, so we're transforming our lower halves right now. This is why we, ha we have more evolved, and the feet is fairly, is fairly new. The kneecaps and the shins is fairly new. And once we get out of the age of Aquarius, it's going to be some shit we build on after that. But for the most part, like I was saying, this is why you need to understand astrology. But people um, who, who will question this don't really necessarily... So once you look in the mirror and understand what you are, then you have to question yourself. Okay, I've been calling myself a human. Well, really, I'm just a star, but a star dragon centaur-like being. And this is the only way we come into this kind of realm of reality in these kind of ways, dealing with these kind of sex organs. You know what I'm saying? This is not truly my spirit. This is just a shape and form and a, a realm of reality that I'm experiencing right now. Then once you realize that, this is when you have to set, set yourself aside. If you are going to be a true skeptic, then this should be the real question. Okay, is the centaurs or or is the Greek or 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 Norse or or is the motherfucking pantheism? Is these at or Egypt's is these attributes made after us? Or did we make ourselves or was or was we created after the after these things? That should be the real question. Was these things created in our image? Or were we created in these things image? And once you start to understand that, you'll start to understand concepts that everything is not physical because everything is not in the physical realm. So there's different realms. So once you understand different realms, you understand your body in that realm and understand how to perceive it, uh, perceive it in the right way so you can know where to go. So you don't be acting in that realm, so you don't be acting in that realm the same way you acting in this realm. Thinking it's one. Where in that realm, you got to do things differently than you do in this realm. For an example, it might be something physically that you see that you kind of have a sense that you shouldn't indulge in. But indulging in it may make this feel good. This is the problems that the centaurs have. You need to go do your research on, on them too. Because we're supposed to develop wisdom and be wise and be become the phoenix. A.K.A. become to have wings. This is the true esoteric energy of being an angel it's not necessarily a man like woman like but for the most part you need to understand when as as a centaur we're fight we're in a we're experiencing the level of consciousness of getting out of our lower nature this is how we're developing wisdom and knowledge this is why Sagittarius and Scorpio energy reveals that Scorpio goes deep into the yin realm astral realm and Sagittarius gives wisdom and enlightenment. So this is on the path that we need to do. And us formulating our lower halves that we got now was part of was part of that. We're getting lighter. We're not being as heavy and being stuck down to our animal natures as we have been before. So pantheism goes down deep, and this was the destroy of the feminine energy. So this is people who are lost in the physical. And, and see, I broke it down in a way people ain't even correlated. This is why you need to understand it by astrology. You see what I'm saying? Because you know everything is energy frequency vibrations. So you'll know how to separate. Because for the most part, like I said, you could be indulging in something in the physical realm, right? But you know that you wasn't supposed to do that with your soul and in your spirit. So when you combine it, right, that's getting lost. Because now you start to add spirit and emotions to the shape and form or the physical thing that you want to do. When really they're separate. If you just don't add, if you don't add no ability for them to combine, you won't manifest a new circumstance or situation in your life. A.K.A. a new light or a new sound or new something else to attack and come into your life and play that role. You see what I'm saying? Because that's, that, that's how it does it. Because people don't know that... Is not pantheism. Pantheism is man worship, and ma and men that like to worship the yang element, the external realm, what can be ruled, and what can be taken control over. And we don't like things changing. 
So people are scared of things that don't have structure, things that don't have a pattern. And that's the thing, that's the realm of creation, the shapeless and formless realm. And you know, a lot of pantheisms try to get rid of that. They try to tell you that, yeah, you're in your emotions. You're not supposed to feel. You're supposed to go by the word. They'll tell you that everything is one. They'll tell you that everything is becoming something else. They'll tell you that all is one and one is all, when truly it's not. Because there wouldn't be no such thing as a concept of something being separate from the all. Because once you start to get into them, them brain waves, now you're going to have to start blaming everything on the all. Because at that point, you're going to be like, well, the all wanted to separate itself from itself. And then once you get into that point, it start getting right back into man worship. The all start having human traits. It's the, the all start having morality and shit. The all start having authority and looking down or looking over others or, or feeling lesser than others. The all start giving and receiving. You see what I'm saying? It, it, once, you, once you get into those concepts, you get lost. You start, you start going back to man worship. It, that's all. That's it. So it's it's not it's, it's not even about that. I explained through numerous of my videos about the parameter of God and how the male and female energy even got existed, and how spirits get birth, and how souls and how spirits become souls and create bodies and lights and sounds to experience. Like, you know, what I'm saying this pantheism shit uh, is basically it's, it's not what it is, but it's what everybody clinging to, you know. And once you start to to blend into that realm of reality there's really no way out of it and you get stuck into pattern you get scared of the shapeless and formless and what's new to come you know it's not it's, it's not it's not a such thing as we're looking at how life is created now and that's how it always was created we're looking at a situation where we're creating how life is being created as we speak due to our imaginations and things of that nature and our thought forms and the better we know we understand that the better we can create a new creation and, and create something new other than being stuck in this rotation and keep coming back and complaining about it. See what I'm saying? Flight boss, bitch. Goddamn air. Everybody get the fuck rid of that pantheism. And that's within all everybody. Damn.